friends and welcome back to my channel. Um, I thought I'd try a new intro so hopefully this isn't too cringy. Um, cause I say guys a lot so hopefully you guys like friends. I feel like this could be my thing but yeah. So hi friends, hope you're doing well. Um, today is going to be a Loungefly haul collective video collection I guess. Um, so yeah, here are every Loungefly I own. Um, I blame my Disney fan. They are the worst influences. They know exactly who they are. And this is the reason I have so many lounge flights, so you guys are the worst. Love you though. <laughs> Bank account doesn't, but I do. Anyway, so yeah, um, the Disney fam are the worst influence. We all kind of influence each other, but yeah, it's not been good for my bank account. But however, I do now own some really, really pretty lounge flies, so I will get into showing you them and do like a, um, detailed, a detailed close up and things. Right, so this is my first ever lounge fly. Um, it's a bit annoying because the ear just doesn't stay back so if anyone has any tips to help keep the ears in the right position please let me know in the comments um, so yeah I saw this and I loved it I didn't care whose brand it was I didn't care how much money it was it was pumpkins and if you know me I like my pumpkins <laughs> spooky for life um, so yeah I got this on eBay and I think I paid about £70 for it which is good considering it's a parks exclusive um, I kept my eye on it for a while and eventually it went down. I did have to import it which kind of bumped the cost up a little bit but it was the cheapest one even like there were some in the UK but there were more so it was actually cheaper for me to import it. Um, so yeah this is the Disney Parks exclusive pumpkin lounge fly. It's kind of like a fake suede material. Um, I need to find a way to protect him. I did buy some um, shooting protect spray from Dykeman, I think it's called Empire Spray. I haven't tried it on my lounge fly yet, but I did take it in. Not this one. I did take it in and they said it's perfectly safe to use on the one I'll show you in a minute. So I've got to protect those to protect them from dirt and water. So yeah, this is the pumpkin. So you get the face. It does have a front pocket here, but it's not very big. Um, I can, yeah, it doesn't open very wide. I think I've got receipts and spare shopping bags in here. So on the inside it has like um, spooky treats and I don't know how to show you this, spooky treats. Um, so there's a Mickey um, lollipop, there's a spider with a Mickey head in it, that's pretty cool. Uh, there's a pumpkin Mickey, there's just all kind of sweets and skulls and stuff and ghosts. This is actually really really cool. I'll get the camera and do close ups. But yeah, I love this one. This one's my favourite ever. Next up is Slinky. I've yet to take him anywhere yet um, because he was the one I've got recently. Um, I love him. He was a box lunch exclusive, but I got him on Double Box Toys, which is probably where I've got most of these from. Um, so his front pocket is clear. So it's and you can see the springs through it, and then there's like little gaps that see through. Uh, so it's another Disney Pixar lounge fly. He has little feet. Um, and his face, his ears do come out but when mine arrived his ear was bent so I kind of tucked it into the pocket to make sure it's kept its shape and it has its bent back out which is great um, again another fake suede one so I will have to take it to um, Dykeman and see what they say about me spraying him because I would very much like to keep him protected but I think my favourite part is the little feet <laughs> Yeah, um, his lounge, his lounge fly, his lining is beautiful. They are little slinky dogs. I oh, will get my camera and film close-ups, but yeah, I love him. And then the next one I got is this guy. Um, he, I did get him from Very, but then he became cheaper on Double Box Toys, so I returned to the one from Very. And then this is Olaf. Um, this is the one that they said would be okay to spray with the protection spray, which I have not done it yet. So I'm just worried he's a very pale colour he's white and then his arms move so maybe you can say hi I usually like to arrange his hands kind of like this so he's like ta-da and he also has feet so the inside this has got all of my junk in it so um, I don't know how best to show you um, from now on if I take a bag out I have a um, combination padlock because my um, phone got stolen, um, it got pickpocketed, 
So now, whenever I go out, I keep a, um, a bum bag on my front, which I keep my phone and all my valuables in. And then I also padlock my backpack. Um, because there isn't two zips on here, I will never put anything valuable in here. So it, at the moment, it just has Tic Tacs and sunglasses in it and maybe a necklace. But yeah, not worth anything at all. So yeah, I will not be putting valuables in reach again. It's hardened me, I've learnt the hard way. So I think the best way to show you the lining is probably the front pocket. Again, the Tic Tacs and junk in there. Um, he's a decent, decent size. He's listed as a mini backpack, but like this is a standard mini size and he's a little bit bigger, which is great because I have a lot of junk. So yeah, I'll film like comparison shots of him on the floor. I love this. He is my like all time bag at the minute. I just use it so much. So yeah, and then he's got like um like on the loop and handles. Yeah, I love this one. So the next one I got was Shock. So yeah, this one I got because in our little Disney fam group, um the plan was that we're all gonna have like one of the Nightmare Before Christmas bags each. So Charlie has Jack, uh, Rach has Oogie Boogie, I now have Shock and I believe Steffi's got um, Lock, so we're nearly there, we just need a barrel, I'm not sure if there's a Sally backpack, not that I need to know because you know I've got enough, but I think this is brilliant, I also cosplayed um, as Shock once, so this is going to absolutely make the cosplay a thousand times better and hopefully more recognisable to people who don't know who she is. Um, but yeah, so the, it's, it's like purple stripes, the badge is Nightmare Before Christmas, um, she's a good size, about a standard lounge fly size, I love a little blue hair, and a hat, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like this, or if it's supposed to stand up, I guess it's supposed to be like this, because when it's like that, I suppose you can see it, I don't know, um, but yeah, it's striped all around, the inside of the pocket is purple, and, um, I can't quite remember what the lining is. Oh, it's um, black and white stripes, so it's nothing overly exciting. Um, this one's still packed out with tissue paper. The tag's quite cool as well. Got the Nightmare Before Christmas one there. But yeah, I love this one, and this one was from Double Box Toys again. My next two are absolutely amazing. Just you wait. This one I kind of wanted first before I knew about the pumpkin one. Um, and then I bought Slinky, so I guess you can kind of guess we're on theme. Then I bought Slinky, so I was like, right, don't need it because then I have Slinky from Toy Story franchise. Um, I already had the Buzz Lightyear purse from Loungefly. Um, oh, I suppose I should include that in the video. I will get him. Um, but yeah, so this one, I told myself I wasn't going to get him. And then he went on sale on Double Box Toys. Um, for £45, which is really good because I've seen him from anywhere to starting about 55 So this is the cheapest I've seen him. Um, so I had to snap him up at that price. I haven't really looked at it because it arrived um, before I went to visit my Disney fam. So I literally opened it, gave him a quick check over, checked everything was okay. Um, there is a thread coming out of the zip I haven't actually opened it and checked that it's okay um, I mean it's still got the plastic on still got the lounge fly tag on but this is one I'm definitely gonna have to spray because it is white but yeah the detail is absolutely amazing on him I love him um, I haven't even seen the lining yet I'm gonna look together oh my god the, line, the lining is aliens! Oh my gosh! I'm very, very happy. I don't know what my face is doing, but I'm very happy. I love it. So I suppose I should check where this thread is coming from. It was just a loose thread. It's okay. There's a couple of loose threads. Um, there's quite a few loose threads in here. So yeah, this one was wrapped around the zip. Okay, so everything else seems to be okay inside. Oh, look at this! Oh my god, I love it! I imagine inside the pocket's the same. Yeah, it's the same. Oh my gosh. 
I think this might be my new favourite. No, okay, pumpkins or buzz. Hmm, it's a very hard choice. But oh my god, I love it. And my last one to show you is Mike. Um, they didn't have Sully, which I probably would have preferred. But again, he was in the sale. He kind of called to me. And yeah, I just love him. He's so cute. Again, I'll probably um, protect spray all of them. And this is another one I haven't yet um, had a look inside. Oh, the inside is doors. Um, so the inside has Mike and Sully kind of looking on doors. Like peeping through doors. Boo's door is on there. Oh my god, they should make a Boo's door lounge for it. No, because I'd buy it. I don't need it. I don't need a door lounge for it. So yeah, that is all of them. So let me know in the comments what your guys' favourite one was that I've shown today. One on your wish list. What's your like ultimate grail, which is kind of in the same. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe so I can make more lovely content like this for you guys. And you guys encourage my hoarding habits. So I will speak to you later. Bye guys.